Hey guys, this is uh, Joe from Excel by Joe and Spreadsheet School DFS. And uh, today's video, I want to go over uh, the VLOOKUP and kind of explain it better, go over some uh, like troubleshooting and uh, just get a little more in depth on it. Uh, but before I begin, I just want to say if you, um, if you do like this video, if you could uh, click the share button down below or, or like it. And uh, or and subscribe to the channel if you uh, if you haven't so far. So, what is the VLOOKUP? Here's the outline. First off, and what I'm going to do is go over what the VLOOKUP is, how we're going to set up a VLOOKUP, uh, different troubleshooting when you find errors, how to fix it, um, this, the if error function which will not display errors, and um, index match, um, which is kind of a more complicated VLOOKUP. So let's start it off with what the VLOOKUP is. The VLOOKUP is a formula in Excel that will look in a larger table and pull in some data back. So say we have this list of players here. These are NBA players and we want to know like what their salary is and what their player rank is from another table. We've got this table here of all the data it's got all, um, this is, uh, just, uh, yesterday's, uh, stats, or it's just, just, like, different salary data from, uh, certain players. So it's got all the, uh, NBA players here, it's got all, like, the positions, their, uh, home away, fan duel, draft king salary, some over-under info, um, and so on. And, like, here's their rank right here. So... What we want to do is say we want to pull salary. Say we just want to pull the FanDuel salary for all these players. What you could do, say we're looking up uh, here, say Alex Len. You could go into here, do a search for Alex Len. Like, see, I'm going to do Control F. Um, Alex Len. So you go down here. I'm going to find it and say, oh, his salary is $3,600, or 3600 which is FanDuel. What the VLOOKUP will do is basically do this exact thing for you. It's going to look for Alex Len in this table and then go to the cat column you decide and pull pull in that data. So say we have here, we're going to do the VLOOKUP. You can get a, for, a function either by like clicking this FX, which is insert function, or just typing it in. I'll just uh, click the FX so you can kind of see the long way to do it for the first time. So say we're going to search for one. We're going to search for VLOOKUP. I'm going to double click on VLOOKUP. And so here's kind of a wizard to help you out. What's the lookup value? The lookup value is the data you're looking for. Like in this case, it's Alex Len. So we're just going to put cell A11, so it'll be Alex Len. We put the cell reference so we can copy this down, and it'll, it'll do this formula for other uh, players' names. The table array is the table that we're looking in. So we're going to the Data tab. You want to highlight the whole columns. And the leftmost column has to be the data we're going to look in. So we're, since we're looking up Alex Len, we want player name. So it's going to be column B, and we're going to go all the way over to, say, FanDuel Salary, which is here, column G. Column index is what column do we want to pull. So that just means if you want to pull column 1, you're going to put a 1 in here. You, you're going to pull the name again. If you want to position, you're going to put a 2. So it's basically starting at column B, and it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Since we want to pull FanDuel salary, we're going to put a 6 here. So I'm going to delete that and just put a 6. So that means we're going to pull the 6th column, FanDuel salary. In range lookup, that means you can put false if you want an exact match. Uh, you put true if you're not looking for an exact match, but we're not going to get into that now. So just you just put false, and you click OK. And there we go. See, Alex Len is $3,600. Now, you could copy this down by, I mean, you can do, like, Control-C to copy and then paste it down. I like to just drag by this little plus here. You can copy it down, and there, you just pull in all the different salaries for these different players. So that covers what the VLOOKUP is and how you set up a VLOOKUP. Now I'm going to get into troubleshooting. Let's say I'm going to copy this. I'm going to do Control-C. See, I'm going to copy it over here to, to uh, Aaron Brooks, Control-V. We get an NA. So here's an error, and actually, if you look on here, 
for Al Horford, there's uh, also it coming up as an error. Here's the pound reference error, or here's just the pound NA error. Those are two different types of errors. How would you troubleshoot this if you if you came across this? The first one you want to do is Aaron Brooks. You want to make sure what you're looking for is the exact same. So I'm going to put we're looking up Aaron Brooks. So I'm going to look in here. I'm going to put my cursor right on the name. Sometimes there's extra spaces in a name that you can't uh, that you can't always tell. But if you put your cursor on here, you'll be able to tell. See, the cursor goes right to Brooks, so that's okay. But if we go to the beginning, you'll notice that there actually is a space right there before the name. So that's probably what's throwing it off, because if we went onto our main table, and I did a control find for Aaron Brooks, we'd find it, and then if we put our cursor up here, See, there's no space at the beginning. So that's why it's coming up with an error, because it's basically it's not finding it. It's looking for space Aaron Brooks in here. It's not finding it, and since it's not finding it here, it's putting an NA. I mean, obviously, to fix this, you could go in here and just delete the space. But what happens if, say, all these names have, have a space in there? It's not an easy thing to get rid of. But what you can do is this formula called trim trim function will get rid of any extra spaces that aren't normally in in a uh, name so what you could do instead of looking up a2 you can put the formula trim and then put parentheses in the a2 and click enter there and now it's 3700 so what that's doing is just trimming the name it's getting rid of all these unwanted spaces or characters and making it just look like a common name and we got thirty seven hundred dollars so it was able to find it and pull it so that's one way to fix an error the next way is with this one with Al Horford I mean we're looking at this and there's no spaces in here so that's one error a second error to look up is make sure the column you're looking at is in the range see so we're looking up column cell A5 which is Al Horford in this range BG to B8 or B to G and we're looking up the eighth column so if we want to check column B so it's one two three four five six seven eight so we're pulling the eighth column however our range is only B to G so column eight is not in this range of B to G so it's gonna give us a false so we would have to go in and fix the formula make this a six which is in this range from B to G because G is the sixth column and it'll give us a 73. So that's how we'd um, fix those type of errors. So that's the, the a brief uh, overview on troubleshooting. There's ob obviously other errors but these are two of the most common ones and how to fix them. The, the fourth item I want to look go over is if error. What that will do is replace an error. So say we're looking up um, here, Magic Johnson. Obviously Magic Johnson is not going to be in here. This is current day uh, data. And say we, we don't want to, say we're doing this, and say there's a lot of other names that are on here that we don't, that aren't going to be in this table. We don't want it to say NA because that's going to make our table look strange. We might just want it to say zero. So what we can do, here's the formula. You, this is formula called if error, with which all you have to do is wrap around your formula. So you put if error parentheses, then put another parentheses at the end. And press. Oops, I uh, messed that up. So actually, you put if error, you put the formula, and then you have to put what you want to put if there is an error. So see how what it's doing. The formula is if error. It's looking if you look up. If this is finding a result, it's going to put this result. If it's not finding a result, it's going to put a zero. Instead of a zero, you can put something else, like you could put error if you want. But in this case, I just want to put a number zero. So now it becomes a zero. Same with here. If we just have a bunch of weird weird uh, letters, DDD, it's going to obviously going to show NA. If we copy this formula down, 
now it becomes a zero because it all of a sudden the if error corrected that. And the final item I want to go over is just the index match. If we have the rank here, if we're doing the if we look up the same way we're gonna look up as in salary, we're gonna look up Aaron Brooks. The leftmost column has to be the player name. What if the, the item you're looking for is to the left of the leftmost column? Um, obviously one way you could do is copy this column and paste it over here somewhere. But what if you didn't want to do that? You can do an index match. What the index match will do, I'm, this, is, this is two, index match is double formula, so you have to type this in. So we're going to do index, and index is what are we pulling over? So we want to put, we're pulling over this column, comma, and the match is we want to find the match of um, what we're looking up. So the match is the player's name. So first the lookup value, for, we want to look up Aaron Brooks, and the lookup array is here, and then you just want to put comma zero for an exact match, put a parentheses. and you click enter and it gives the NA obviously again because we get the space here let's get rid of the space let's just manually get rid of it this time and you see he ranks 113 so we're doing the index it's pulling up this column I mean you could you could pull column F if you want home away instead and put a column F colon F and it would pull the home homer away I'm gonna copy this down and see it's gonna show all the players ranks so it's basically just pulling column A, which is here, this player rank. So the index match basically is a, a more powerful tool than VLOOKUP, but it's also more difficult. So I always like using the VLOOKUP. It's simpler and easier when you have to go from left to right. When you have to go from right to left, then you have to use the index match. So that's it for my VLOOKUP outline. I hope uh, this is helpful to everyone. Uh, again, please subscribe to our channel and uh, share this video, like it. Um, that would be great if you, if you liked the video. Thanks a lot.